Hi, I'm General Dave Petraeus, the 40th Eagle Six, and I want to welcome you to the Strike Zone. Air Assault, Strike. Hey, Strike Brigade, how you doing? I'm Specialist Joe Padul with the 2nd Brigade Public Affairs Office, and this is Strike Zone Afghanistan. Strike Zone Afghanistan is the Brigade's TV show dedicated to keeping you, the viewer, up to date with all the great things the Strike Brigade is doing right here in Kandahar, Afghanistan. On this episode, I'm going to introduce you to some pretty awesome things. Some great stories about joint operations and missions, and awesome segments like Hero of the Day, Words of Wisdom, and Safety Sessions. We're also going to take a look back at the regiment's history and my new favorite part of the show, Strike Soldiers Hometown Shoutouts. Yeah. So stick around and enjoy a show about the 101st's one and only Strike Brigade. Absolutely. This is to my wife Alyssa. Sorry I can't be home for the birth of our daughter, but I love you and I miss you. And I'll see you when I get home. Hi, this is 2nd Lieutenant Rowe. I just want to shout out to my family in Folsom, California um, and Centerville, Indiana. I want to say hi to my husband. Um, I love you and I'm safe and I'll see you soon. For this episode, we're filming out here at Forward Operating Base Wilson. Now, FOB Wilson is one of the fastest growing FOBs in all of Afghanistan and is the central piece to the Strike Brigade success right here in Operation Enduring Freedom. Now let me tell you, we got a whole lot going on around here. Specialist Mike Monroe has more. Fob Wilson, home of the Strike Brigade, is one of the fastest growing forward operating bases in Afghanistan. The Strike Brigade has been continually improving living conditions since its arrival. Beginning with tank construction, the Fob has seen many improvements over the last few months. Since we, we built three living areas uh, for three different battalions, BSTB, BSB, and 175. Uh, first of the five o deuce was already here. Uh, we have a small PX, very small PX that we're going to build up in the near future. Finance came down here to service us, so we, we, we have them uh, working in a small tent until we build their area. And, uh, and the dining facility, we have built two more dining facilities just to, to help out with the current one that we have that was only supposed to feed about 500 uh, personnel. With the role of the Strike Brigade being critical to the success of the mission, FOB Wilson plays an integral part in Operation Enduring Freedom. This FOB is like a hub for all the cops out there, the small cops that we got company size elements in. Uh, we receive a lot of materials to support them uh, for force protection. Uh, we send them food out there, class one. We send them water, uh, Gatorades, or any other things that they need. Uh, but we, we serve as the hub. From morale, welfare, and recreation centers to religious services catering to all faiths, the Strike Brigade looks to take care of its soldiers both on and off duty. Well, currently we have a, a small computer MWR room where soldiers get to go in and send emails home. They get to call home using a, a service called spyware. Also, we have a, a gym that uh, soldiers can get in shape. They can run on treadmills and stuff like that. Bob Wilson will continue to grow and improve during the coming deployment, becoming a major player in the Strike Brigade's efforts. For 2nd Brigade, 101st Airborne Division Public Affairs, I'm Specialist Mike Monroe. Good stuff, Specialist Monroe. As Fob Wilson continues to grow, so does its ability to reach the local populace. You know, soldiers during deployment sometimes neglect the importance of day-to-day -day hygienics. Here to prevent that is 1st Lieutenant Michael Smithers. Hey, how you doing? Hey, another beautiful day, sir. I do say so. Absolutely. All right, my name is Lieutenant Michael Smithers, coming from uh, Fob Wilson, 2nd BCT. I'm the brigade nurse. Talking today about uh, hand hygiene and points of hygiene. It's important to wash your hands every day, uh, especially when you come out of the latrines, when you go into chow. We don't want to cross those two things up. You get those germs from the latrine and the chow, you can have the runs, diarrhea. And I don't know what's worse, having diarrhea or how you got it, what you ate to get it. So wash your hands every day. As a general rule of thumb, however long when you think you're done washing your hands, wash them twice as long and you'll be good to go. I'm Lieutenant Smithers and this has been your safety sessions. 
Bada bang, sir. You ain't kidding. And way to keep the strike soldiers mission ready. Now, one of the biggest assets here at FOB Wilson is its flight line, considered by some as the lifeline of the FOB. Here to explain is PFC Sean Denham. The lifeblood of Ford Operating Base Wilson is its supply routes. Supplies such as food, hygiene items, office equipment, even personnel themselves are all major parts of this efficient and functional FOB. A well-planned and executed flight line is required to ensure mission readiness and success in the Strike Brigade's area of operation. Helicopters arriving daily from places like Kandahar Airfield are part of FOB Wilson's blood supply, bringing supplies and personnel while coordinating with other aircraft for ground surveillance, protection, and medical evacuations. Sergeant First Class William Culpepper, the non-commissioned officer in charge of FOB Wilson's flight line, said, The main part of the job is to get soldiers to and from Kandahar Airfield and FOB Wilson in a timely manner. Since the arrival of 2nd Brigade Combat Team, FOB Wilson's flight line has grown, and with the Strike Brigade building more supporting FOBs and combat outposts, it's only going to get busier. U.S. forces aren't the only units moving through the flight line. Canadian military, Afghan National Army, and civilian contractors all utilize FOB Wilson's incoming and outgoing flights, which are all mission essential elements of Combined Task Force Strike. Various helicopters make up the flight line's fleet. Chinook helicopters are the main specialty, with daily patrols of Kiowa surveillance craft and Apache gunships to ensure safety in and around the FOB. The flight line also helps boost soldiers' morale, with regular drop-offs of mail by civilian contractor flights. This allows soldiers to remain close to their loved ones, even while deployed. The medics of FOB Wilson take full advantage of the flight line. The UH-60 Black Hawk medevac helicopters provide quick medical evacuation when the need arises. These specialized helicopters are coordinated between the FOB's medical station and the flight line to provide clear space for them to land in a timely manner. With surveillance, protection, resupply, transportation, and medical evacuations happening on a regular basis, FOB Wilson keeps up with the needs of the Strike Brigade and its Afghan allies. Strike.